The latest is that the bank accounts, two of them, one a CD account and the other a dollar account of the former Minister of Sanitation and Water Resources, Cecilia Abinadapa, uh, have been frozen by the Office of the Special Prosecutor. Um, this is coming on the back of the arrest that was effected on the 24th of July, 2023, um, where she was um, committed to bail. Thereafter, she was, I mean, her home was searched, and thereafter, um, we were told that some investigations were going on. So this is part of the whole investigation that the Office of the Special Prosecutor is doing in respect of the huge sums of money that were found in her house, which have also become the subject of um, controversy under which some eight persons are now standing trial or mm -hmm. being accused for having stolen those money. So that is the basis for it. The latest now is that the bank accounts of the former minister have been frozen by the Office of the Special Prosecutor. In fact, so on, the, on, on what law is has OSP now freezing the accounts? What well, do so when you comb through the um, Office of the Special Prosecutors Act 2007, Act 959, mm -hmm. you would notice that Section 38 of the Act empowers the Special Prosecutor to, as part of investigations where he deems necessary, to um, direct the freezing of the property of a person or entity which is being investigated, and also specified property held by a person or entity other than the person or entity being investigated or prosecuted. Now, the, the special prosecutor has within 14 days after the freezing of the property to apply to the court for a confirmation of the freezing. And that is what um, Section 38 of the OSP Act says. Now, this is to suggest that, I mean, we gather now that um, this application has now been made Mm -hmm. So when you look at section 39, it talks about the office of the special prosecutor within 14 days making an application to the court so that the freezing um, order, I mean, so that the, the, the court will affirm the freezing order for him to continue the investigation. So when you do the calculation between 24th of July, when the, office, um, the, minister, the former minister was arrested and when investigation started, Monday would have been the 14th day. What we are now learning is that the Office of the Special Prosecutor has made an official application to the courts okay. so that that freezing order will be affirmed. And we also understand that this um, application will be heard in the courts in the coming days, specifically on Thursday. Next, you mean next week, Thursday? Next week, th yes, in the coming Thursday. I mean, this I Thursday. mean tomorrow? Tomorrow is Thursday, yes. Tomorrow is Thursday. Thursday, yes. I see. So that is what we are gathering. And... Um, we are also looking at on what basis that this order may be, or the application may be granted by the court. So when you look at section 40, it provides the instances um, under which the court will satisfy itself before granting an order for freezing um, the account of somebody. So you'd find that the first one talks about if the respondent is being investigated for corruption or corruption-related offenses. Mm -hmm. Mind you, the reason we have a respondent here is that the application by its nature has to be on notice. What it means is that the person whose account you are seeking to freeze has to be informed that this is what is going to happen. The person has to be served of the processes and the person will have the right to also be heard. So before the court will come to that conclusion, it, has, it must satisfy itself that mm -hmm. this person you are talking about is being investigated for corruption and corruption-related offenses. What we do know, per the statement of the Office of the Special Prosecutor on the 24th of July, was that the former minister was under arrest in respect of corruption and corruption-related offenses. offenses. So that gives us an idea of exactly what o OSP is doing. It also talks about the fact that the respondent has to be charged with corruption or corruption-related offenses. As it stands now, we are unaware officially that the former minister has been charged. What we only know is that she's under investigation. But that is also something that the court will be looking out for um, in granting that particular freezing order. There's also debate about reasonable grounds to believe that the property is tainted. Okay. Now, the property here we're talking about is money. Mm -hmm. or, yes, so the question of, as to whether the money is tainted or not will also arise, and that the court will also have to satisfy itself before granting that particular order. So there are quite a number of things that the court will have to look at in granting that uh, particular order. But what we do know for now is that the two bank accounts, which we understand contain some substantial amount of money, 
have been frozen, Alfred. 